now we have the topic that is the abnormal molar mass what happens see some when some ionic compound it is dissolved in water we get to see that uh, either it breaks sometimes suppose i take an example ab as a my ionic compound so what happen when sometime we dissolve in water they get dissociated into ions so that means the dissociation may occur right likewise in certain ionic compounds what we get to see in certain compounds i must say like i have ethanoic acid when we mix ethanoic acid with ethanoic acid what we get to see that they actually get bonded to each other see like this so the, the, this is the formula for uh, this thing the acetic acid so when the uh, this thing it is mixed with certain kind of uh, you can say or its own molecules it get bonded to them like this that means it forms a kind of hydrogen bond so here what happens like uh, we take an example in terms of kcl so let it see kcl so what happens like this this is my ionic compound so what happens see if earlier uh, kcl was one but after what time uh, like what we get to see after dissolving water that it bring bring uh, become two particles now likewise here the particle of ethanoic acid was one but after mixing we get two particles as a result so what happens that when you are just mixing them the you can say the number of particles are getting altered due, due to either association or due to dissociation and as we know that colligative properties are uh, depend upon the number of solute particles so that means if this number of solute particle is going to change so obviously it will it is going to have impact on the colligative property so likewise in that case uh, the, you can say the calculated uh, this thing the colligative property doesn't match with the uh, this thing the experimental one right that mean or you can say the expected one right it doesn't match because actually the particles are the by uh, either uh, gets dissociated or gets associated so that means it is going to uh, this thing affect the colligative property like suppose i take an example if i have this elevation in boiling point in this case what happened like if i say that it depends upon number of solute particles so if the number of particle increases to two times so that means this elevation boiling point will also become two times and likewise here what happens if it is get uh, getting reduced to half that means like in this two particles combine to form one particle right so that means they are getting half so that means it is getting half so that means uh, uh, we can say that either the dissociation or association can have uh,